In September, construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Savo Mash was proceeding at a dynamic pace. The building should be ready in time for the onset of cold weather. The builders accomplished the most important task. They closed the heating circuit, except for the airlock, which will be completed in the near future. All windows, doors and gates were installed. The ventilation grills and air shafts located in the stairwell area were insulated. Concrete work has been and continues to be done throughout the month, particularly the pouring of the floor on the ground floor. Waterproofing was applied to the previously performed subconcrete, a protective layer was poured on top of it, and then two layers of reinforcement were performed. The builders then poured the next layer of concrete and performed the finishing coating on a portion of the fragments. The other portion of the fragments is being prepared for tile paving. The temperature of the concrete being poured is checked regularly. The strength of the concrete exceeds the design values. Once the finished flooring has been poured, the heating equipment will be stored in the building, the transformers will be mounted, and the equipment for the water supply unit will begin to be installed. Electric heaters are installed and connected along the perimeter of the industrial building in the technical premises in case of the decrease of the outside temperature. The main partition walls on the second floor have been mounted. The high pace of construction is being maintained thanks to funding, administrative measures taken, and the professionalism of the Sovomash team and builders. The main task of investors now is to pay the installments on schedule so that the Design and Technological Bureau can be completed on time and the bonus shares provided for payment discipline can be received. From September 21st to 23rd, the Electrotrans exhibition was held in Moscow as part of the Russian Public Transport Week. Solvash exhibited motors and end products that use the Slavanka combined winding technology. Among them, ASPP Wayhai's Denzel Liberty S electric motorcycle with a DA95S motor upgraded with Slavanka technology, which is mass produced in China. Gilles elevator winches, traction and general industrial motors. Boat motors, electric drives for handheld power tools, and much more. ASPP Weihai, together with one of China's largest manufacturers of lightweight aluminum boats, has launched a new solar electric boat project that will use electric motors with Slavanka combined windings. The goal of the project is to produce electric boats that will run on solar energy without recharging from the electric grid. Similar vehicles with Slavanka motors and solar panels are already in operation in Thailand, in the popular tourist area of Bangkok. The project is implemented with the International Cooperation Center with the support of the Weihai City Government, Tsindao University and Bangkok University. The mass production of electric motorcycle of cafe racer type with the Slavanka DA95S motor from ASPP Weihai has started in China. Thanks to the advantages of the Slavanka motor, the electric bike can reach a maximum speed of 120 km per hour and can ride without recharging 150 km, something that is necessary for motorcycles of this racing class. The head of ASPP Weihai and partner of Sovolmash, Viktor Aristov, was awarded the 2022 Weihai Friendship Award. It is awarded to foreign specialists and teams who work in China and apply advanced technologies. There was a forum and a special session for foreign engineers a series of networking events for cooperation in Shandong province. They were attended by dozens of companies that use electric motors, including power tools. Official events of this level, recognition and awards from the Chinese government pave the way for Victor Aristov and Sovolmash to future customers and partners. In October, Solar Group is preparing to hold offline conferences in several countries. October 9th in Hanoi, Vietnam. October 16 in Ho Chi Minh City, October 22 in Indonesia Surabaya. Indonesia and Vietnam are among the top five countries in terms of investment in the project. For the people living in these countries, the conferences will be a great opportunity to speak to the Solar Group management personally and get the latest news about the development of the project. These are the first events in a series of conferences scheduled until the end of the year.